Have you ever been questioning whether you should be building your business on a Facebook page or group? They are definitely two different strategies, yet they are not necessarily incompatible. So in this episode number 105, I'm going to share with you the differences between the two so you can decide what is best for you and your business. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from thierryvalexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so you can attract all the best qualified leads that you want for your business and monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new episode and also I do attach a PDF cheat sheet, a guide of some sort that you can use to, and empower yourself in the process with within your business. In this episode number 105, I'm going to share with you the differences between Facebook page and Facebook group. A lot of people think that they have to choose between one or the other. Whereas in fact, they, they have different functionalities that you might want to get and work with both at the same time. So let's dive into what the differences are between the two. The first one is Facebook pages. It's very well known that for anyone who wants to build a business on Facebook, they should take a business page. Now, it is also, however, very hard or it became more challenging to make your content be visible to your followers if you are not playing the game of pouring money into the machine. Now, you know, we've got to be We've got to be fair that and, and, and remember that Facebook is a business like any other and they need to make some money from somewhere. That where is on Facebook pages from us when we are wanting to buy ads and make our business visible to the masses. Therefore, your Facebook page is going to show your content to your followers if you are spending money into it. On the other side, you've got Facebook groups, which is an awesome strategy because your members are going to receive notifications when you are publishing or doing something within your group. Also, an aspect that I absolutely love from the Facebook groups is that you can create your mini library, if you may, where you can get your people to see the information that you want them to absorb from you. This is called units. You can create some different units of different types. Let's say, for example, you are a makeup artist and you have different type of makeup you are doing, you're creating, you want your audience to absorb. You could do units for day makeup, evening makeup, wedding makeup, skin prep, etc. So that's a beautiful way to have your business very well organized and people, they, so people can also know where to go to get what they want. The one thing to remember though is that you cannot share your content from your Facebook group to your profile or anywhere else if your group is on private, which I absolutely recommend because that is making it a little bit more exclusive. You are building a community and you have to accept who is coming into that group. And as you know, each and every single week, I do create a freebie of some sort for you to be empowered in your own way within your business. This week, because we're talking about Facebook group, Facebook pages, essentially how to communicate with your leads, your prospects, your members, your community, I am introducing you to my three easy steps follow-up process guide, which is going to share with you these three easy steps on how to communicate with your audience within the follow-up process so you can increase the ratio of people that are saying yes they want to see what you've got going on and also reduce the amount of people ghosting you because we all have those right we let's face it let's be honest we all had people ghosting us at some point so if you want to get access to these three easy steps Follow our process guide, you just need to click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. If you are on my YouTube channel or any other platforms, just go into the description section somewhere around this video and that will be redirecting you back onto my blog. Once you're there, you'll see below this video again a massive yellow button that you cannot miss. 
Click it and then you'll get my three easy step follow up process guide right into your email box. Now you still might feel unsure about what to do and what to choose between the two. My take on it is to never limit yourself and to always live in abundance. Thus, if you are not yet ready to pull, to pull money into Facebook ads, I would still recommend to have your Facebook page, put the content on it. It's usually, most of the time, copy and paste from your group or from your profile to your page or from your page to the other platforms. That way, you will have content when people are coming on it. When you are ready to actually create some ads, I mean, there is nothing worse than having some ads out there but nothing on your page, which is going to really kill your credibility. A while ago, I came across an ad which was awesome and this product, this digital product that I was ready to buy, what I did was checking the profile of the person, the, the page, and nothing was on there. It removed all the credibility and I didn't purchase the product. So make sure that you have something on your pages so when you are ready, you don't feel like you're starting from scratch all over again. In conclusion, both have different features as we've gone through together. The Facebook group is the one where you're building your community and the Facebook page is where you're going to scale your business to the next level when you are ready to put money into it. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you know what to do. Smash the share button, send it to your fellow net marketers, entrepreneurs, make a party, whomever you believe would benefit from this information who is wondering what to use between the two or maybe they have one or the other and you think they could actually benefit from having the, the the, the one they don't have yet so feel free to share that with them they will have access to the same information the, to the same guide as well the three easy step follow-up process guide that question of the week where do you mostly build your business what platform do you have a group do you have a page are you on any other platforms let me know in the comment section where do you build your business most Thank you so much for tuning in. I love connecting with you each and every single week. It's a pleasure. I'm very grateful. This video is a wrap, but I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye-bye.